A huge portion of my business is online arbitrage. Online arbitrage is buying things online and selling them online. Many people do this with new products, but that has certain advantages and disadvantages. What I do it with is used products. I'm purchasing used lots or sometimes even individual products and I resell them online on different marketplaces. One of the categories I target is video games, consoles, and accessories. A successful online arbitrage operation hinges on three main factors. First, you have to know where to buy stuff. Secondly, you have to know where to sell stuff. And thirdly, you have to understand what prices make both of those first two actions work. If you're buying an item and you sell it somewhere, even if you sell it for more, if you're not covering fees, shipping, etc., you're gonna see your money quickly dwindle away. Another issue is buying an item and by the time you get it, the market has changed and the profits you thought you had are no longer there and you're stuck with an item you thought you could sell for a profit, but unfortunately, now you can't. Tracking these prices has been on my mind for the past few months. I tried making my own databases, I tried scraping information off eBay and Amazon and it was either too expensive or too time consuming. Sure, I was bummed there was no way to get data to help make more informed decisions, but sometimes, it's a slow path to success. Then a few weeks later, AMZ Monitor reached out to me. I was kind of hesitant about this. AMZ Monitor is a product mostly for private label sellers and people who have exclusive wholesale rights to a product. They wanna track how their product ranks in search. They wanna see who else is on their listing, things like that. But there are some features that I found especially useful for an online arbitrage seller like myself. This video is sponsored by amzmonitor.com but I don't want you to think that I'm just lying about how good it is. I use this product and over the past two months, I've made several thousand dollars that I otherwise wouldn't have because the information I got from their product alerts helped me make more informed decisions and buy more with confidence. I want to specifically talk about Nintendo Wii's because that's what I've had the most success with. You can buy Nintendo Wii's anywhere online. There are a lot of them and you can sell them on Amazon. My record for Nintendo Wii sold in one day was 12 on Amazon and I sold out by about 4 p.m. So there is no doubt in my mind you could surpass that. When I first logged into AMZ Monitor to see if it was worth doing a review video for, because again, I'm only doing products that I actually use, I saw a lot of stuff that was geared towards tracking, search ranking of the individual ASINs you have, of seeing if competitors are jumping on your listing, stuff like that things that are not really useful for an online arbitrage seller because with Nintendo Wii's, there's 50 or more sellers and there's not really any competition amongst other consoles. If somebody wants a Wii, they want a Wii. All I care about is the number of sellers, sales rank, price, and info like that. Luckily, AMZ Monitor gives you all that. It can be either an email alerts or it can be by going into the app online and seeing all the tables they have. They have graphs as well. It really is useful for building a narrative of what's going on with any individual ASIN and seeing that narrative allows me to make more informed decisions and most importantly, purchase more. I also think in the future as I launch more private labeled products, this is going to be an extremely useful resource to make sure that I'm not being hijacked by nefarious, unscrupulous competitors. You can see the current price, any changes in the buy box, any changes any sellers have made to their price, any changes in the amount of sellers as well as the names of sellers who have added or dropped off, any change in sales rank and more similar information. You can also view a graph that shows if the number of sellers is trending up or trending down, something I found extremely helpful when purchasing items on eBay. In the case of an item like The Last of Us for PS3, due to the popularity of the recent HBO series, both the price has gone up and the number of sellers has gone down. That's a huge buy signal because it's very unlikely that the price is gonna go down uh, and we're seeing more sellers leave from sales, one-off sellers, that we are seeing being added on. So again, that's a buy signal. They don't give you an actual buy signal, but in your mind, you should have green lights lighting up. Of course, there are seasonal macroeconomic trends that are gonna lead to ups and downs in these categories. A lot of sellers might call that common sense, but for me, it really is helpful to see the data in front of me. I feel much more confident making these decisions. The information also helped me understand if I was gonna FBA or merchant fulfill any items. The issue with that being that FBA items take longer to actualize the profits. So you have to prep them, you have to ship them. You're gonna make more money in general when an item is FBA versus merchant fulfilled, but sometimes a two week lag time might totally erase your profits or significantly diminish them. I found myself putting my OA items, that's online arbitrage, into three main groups. 
One, items I FBA'd because they were low demand, low supply. I could just prep them, set it, forget it, and I knew they would sell before any significant storage fees came into effect. There were also items I would merge and fulfill, or MF, exclusively, because there was very low competition, relatively high sales rank, and I didn't see any significant benefit of FBAing them, because when my item was the buy box, there was no one FBAing it at a similar price, so I could dictate the price that way. For items like this, I would not cross post them because I have a fear of overselling my inventory and having to cancel a sale. Those first two ways do not make up the majority of online arbitrage sales. The majority, the meat of my profits, were items that I both FBA'd and cross posted across several marketplaces. AMZ Monitor gave me multiple updates a day, giving the information I mentioned earlier that allowed me to be very confident saying, okay, I'm gonna FBA half these, and then I'll have quantity listings on Facebook, eBay, and locally, because I know that I'm still making money there. It's not that I would make as much money on eBay or locally as I would on Amazon, but I'm not gonna turn down profit when there's such a large supply of items as there are in the case of Nintendo Wii consoles. I also love how you can see the names of the other sellers. Put a lot more weight in the way someone like JJ's Video Games prices their games, or chase after the right price, if you want to go the YouTube route, how they price their games, as opposed to some random seller who's just trying to make a quick buck. What you begin to understand when you have more data points, like AMZ Monitor Supplies, is that these markets are dynamic, and you should be entering and exiting them at the most opportunistic times. You can't just put all your stuff out there, price it a certain way, and hope things go well, because then you're ignoring the market realities. What you have to do is track these prices. When it becomes a green zone, FBA your stuff. Or maybe the green zones are too small and you merge and fulfill it. Whatever you're doing, information like this allows you to make such better decisions uh, and you're not gonna be losing money the way I previously did years ago when I tried to do the same online arbitrage stuff. I wanna wrap the video up by thanking AMZ Monitor for the sponsored video. Again, I don't just say yes to everything, but this product really does have use not only as a, a tool for wholesalers and private labelers, and that could be a different video in the future, but for people like myself and probably you who do online arbitrage, who want more information to make better decisions about where to sell stuff, what price to sell stuff, and when to buy things, because those are all three really important aspects of any successful online arbitrage business. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new, subscribe. Everyone else, give it a thumbs up, and comment below with what you think about AMZ Monitor and online arbitrage in general.